This is arguably the most advanced warplane ever built. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, these days known as the Lightning II. It crams in capabilities once thought to be impossible on one plane. And it's not all American technology. It's a little known fact that 15% of every single F-35 is made in Britain. That doesn't just go for the RAF or Royal Navy's aircraft, but also for F-35s destined for the US Marine Corps, the US Air Force, the US Navy, and indeed export customers like potentially Australia, even Israel. The world really is the limit. Here at Salisbury, uh, we, we be systems, we manufacture the aft fuselage and the horizontal and vertical tails for all three variants. It's, uh, the state-of-the-art state aircraft uh, uses high, 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 high technology to manufacture it. We use uh, uh, accurate machine tools that can drill within half a thousandth of an inch. Uh, the materials that's on the product are again state-of-the-art. The, the F-35's agile, stealthy, supersonic, and the B variant is capable of short takeoff and vertical landing. It's designed to be just as good against other planes as it is at hitting targets on the ground. Development testing is, um, they had a reasonable year last year after some challenges in the past, so things seem to be going on a good track, and if the aircraft is as good as they say it will be, then it's going to be a very capable uh, asset for, for nations like the UK, capable of doing all sorts of air-to-ground missions and also acquiring some of the intelligence data that we need to have during operations. BAE Systems in Salmsbury is a factory gearing up for mass production. One plane a day rather than the current one a week. It's based on the car industry uh, and that's what we need to get to the rate of uh, one a day. We've been on the programme for some time now, 15 years. Uh, in that time we've done some quite large investments in the programme. Uh, by the end of 2016 we would have invested uh, £150 million uh, pounds in, in, in the programme. I've done aeronautical engineering at college and then applied for an apprenticeship here. It is good, especially with it being like a quite an advanced and latest sort of aircraft. It'll see me through my career and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to further my career as the project furthers and improves and advances. At one point, Britain was going to ditch the hovering version for the more capable carrier variant. Catapult launch with better range and a bigger payload. They even taught me how to fly it. After all, the argument went, the new carriers are big enough and how much could it possibly cost just to fit catapults and arrestor gear? The answer would have pushed the carrier program close to the £10 billion mark and left one of the two ships unusable. So it was back to the F-35B after all. Britain has staked everything on the aircraft being manufactured on this state-of-the-art production line. Without the F-35, there's really no need for the multi-billion pound aircraft carriers currently being manufactured by the same company in Scotland. Without the F-35, there's no replacement for the Tornado or the Harrier. And crucially, from the British Forces point of view, without the F-35, Britain does not have a bomber, other than the very limited capability currently offered by the Typhoon. The very clear message with the UK down the line has been F-35 is plan A and there is no plan B. Uh, we did dally at one point with swapping the variant, which caused further delay and further expense. But yes, generally, we're going to have two very large aircraft carriers and without the F-35B coming along, then we have a real question with what would we do with those vessels? What would we fly from them? Britain isn't getting the first F-35Bs. Those go to the US Marine Corps. That should help iron out any wrinkles before the first British plane is delivered. But even if the first F-35s can be rushed into service before the tornado retires, it'll take considerably longer for them to be able to fire British rather than American weapons. Will Inglis, Forces News.